Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going a little rogue vlog style. All right, so today we're talking about exactly how many products you need to start a Shopify store, successful Shopify store, that is. And, uh, you know, I get this question a lot. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people want to know. And, you know, a lot of people, frankly, just have way too many products on their website. So, uh, yeah, I want to dive into this issue and, you know, kind of cover it. So, what is the ideal amount of products to have? Well, first of all, I know when I first got started, and I know a lot of people, maybe you included, you know, want to have 57 products on their page, 100 products, 150, whatever products on their page um, because they want to be like Nike they want to be like Walmart they want to have all these you know products because they think it makes them look more legitimate like a legitimate business which to an extent is kind of true sorry there's a car but um, at the same time you got to realize that you know Nike.com has very relatable products and they're also a big brand so that helps them out but if you have a bunch of products that are unrelated then it just confuses people it makes it harder to navigate your website and in Quite frankly, you know, I sell maybe four products on a consistent, fairly consistent, like weekly basis, um, and you know, one to two products on a daily basis, and that's it. The rest of them are just kind of filler that, you know, honestly don't really make many sales. So, what I recommend is that you, you know, do some testing, figure out what product works for you. You know, do three to five days of testing, figure out what works. Once you have that, find maybe five to 10 complementary products, 10 might even be pushing it, um, complementary products. And what I mean by that is things that are similar to the niche and the product that you're selling. So if you're selling a lion bracelet, you know, stuff that's similar, similar types of bracelets if you're promoting to people that like bracelets, or if you're promoting to people that like lions, stuff that's, you know, lion related, right? Because it's gotta be related. And the reason that you have those in the first place is just to increase your average order value and to get you, you know, more sales, essentially, and more money per sale. And that's the only reason that you have them in the first place. So you really gotta just, you know, keep it in perspective and understand that that's why they're there. So to summarize, basically, you just need maybe five to 10 products, maybe 12. Uh, you don't really need any more than that. Anything over that is just overkill and just, you know, kind of unnecessary and clogs up your user experience and confuses people and kind of lowers your conversions, honestly, because none of those products are probably gonna make any sales because you haven't really done any research on them. And it might just be, you know, luck if they do make sales. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right below. Also hit a like if you liked it. Uh, lastly, you know, hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be dropping one of these videos every single day. And uh, you're gonna wanna be notified as soon as they drop because I'm giving you free value. And why would you not wanna be subscribed? So uh, yeah, go ahead, subscribe, notification bell, like, and leave me a comment. What do you wanna see in future videos? What, do you, what is stopping you from getting to $100 a day? Because I'm trying to get everybody on this, uh, you know, that subscribes to me to $100 a day. That's the goal. Um, yeah, so without any further ado, go ahead and take some action. And, uh, let's go. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh.